Hey guys, Burn Jack of all trades, master of none. I'm working on making uh, a barn door jig. This is going to be used for cutting the slot, the track guide under the barn door. So here we go. Just watch me put these pieces together. So guys, the door is one and three eight inches thick. Half of one and three eighths is 11 16. I'm, I'm measuring from the wood to the center of the router bit, 11 16 And I'm going to mark a line on the back of the wood where those 11 16 stops. Then I'm going to put screws in the wood and secure it to this router. Then I'm just going to run this router along the bottom of the door and that's going to take care of it. You can get yourself a router edge kit and accomplish the same thing, but I'm going to do it this way. Okay, let me show you the other side. Okay, so this is the other side. Um, you can see where I put my screws in there. Uh, these screws are they're not long enough, so I'm going to change them. I'm going to get some longer ones. I'm a little bit off of my line here, and I want to see if I can get that back on the line, and then, then we'll go and we'll make our cut. All right. Okay, guys, so the next thing on our radar is our depth. To make our depth three-quarter inches, and um, that's just right about where we are. So we're good there. Let's go and cut our track on the bottom of our barn door. So guys, let's plunge a test run and see how that goes. Okay, they're about the same, about the same thickness, just a little bit off. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do this.
So guys, as you can tell from the cut, this is a, a hollow core door. So there's no wood down there to protect um, from the depth of the router bit going through. You may want to use a solid door uh, when you're hanging one of these um, uh, rolling barn doors. Um, but in this case, this is going to be good enough for the purpose that we're going to use it for. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and clean this door up. We're going to get rid of all this dust and everything. And this door is ready to be hung. Um, so this will do it for the video. Don't forget to share, subscribe. If you got some helpful information out of information and tips out of this video, then I'd appreciate uh, that subscription and some comments. All right, guys. So we'll see you on the next one. And as always, make sure you're using your safety procedures. You're being careful with these uh, sharp tools and dangerous tools. All right, and be safe.